today I'm getting real with you because life happened and I fell off my routine big time. Maybe you can relate, whether it's getting sick, unexpected chaos with your dog or cat, returning from vacation, or just life throwing curveballs. It happens to all of us. So this week has been a roller coaster for me. I've been feeling lost, uninspired, and just downright confused about how to get back on track. It's like I had this amazing spurt of just productivity, and now I'm starting over. Not entirely, but it feels that way. But you know what? Life is messy, and we all have those moments. Today I'm setting the intention to put one foot in front of the other, to start over and be okay with it, to do the little things that I know will help me gain clarity and a sense of purpose. Because, let's be real, we can't control everything that happens to us, but we can control how we react. So I'm taking charge, and I want you to join me. Let's be kind to ourselves and recognize that it's okay to hit the reset button. Life is all about learning, growing, and adapting. Get up, drink water, brush my teeth, shower, get ready, put on my face, then I'm going to do my hair get dressed, just put on some perfume, even though I can't really smell right now, make tea or coffee, and I'll be honest, I already had coffee. I'm gonna journal, set my intention for the day, which I have already, and then get started with my day. And just be gentle because I could still feel my body telling me that I need to slow down. Having that plan in itself is the most structure I've had this week that gives me purpose for my day. I'm already on my path to a more fulfilled, motivated, less groggy day. I'm on my way, you guys. I think I'm just going to leave it like this for now because, y'all, we don't need to try too hard today. We just need to be simple. everything I could this morning to feel somewhat better. I'm still dealing with congestion, as you can probably tell with my voice. Drinking my green juice. I don't always drink green juice, by the way. And don't mind the lighting in the background, but it's Seattle. I don't know if you can tell, and then you probably can't. But the clouds are always either covering the sun or the sun pops up and it disappears all over again some days some weeks some months are harder than others and this by far was my low point of the year it's only the first week of march but i got sick i was dealing with a fever chills body ache headaches and i was not productive at all week and that is okay but the difficult part is that Right before then, I had developed out a nice little routine and obviously life hit me and now it's time for me to kind of just reset and restructure where I was at before I got sick. I'm still dealing with a bit of a foggy brain. I'm feeling overwhelmed, I'm feeling frustrated, I'm accepting that I'm feeling these feelings and it's mainly because I really want to continue making YouTube videos but when I'm dealing with a full-time job that takes up majority of my energy and then I get sick and then I don't even have energy to do the bare minimum, it does throw me for a loop. I'm just in my feels and I know that this is something that every human being goes through. It will get better. But my priority today is just to do the things that I know help me feel organized because I'm naturally an organized, clean person and my space is a bit disheveled. 
at least for, uh, for my standards. So one of the things I want to do is organize my place, dedicate some time to just mindfully put things in order, do some chores, declutter. There's not much to declutter, but I, I, I tend to declutter on a regular basis. I think once I start to see that my place is, is starting to clean up a bit, then I'll feel more clear mentally and spatially. Another thing is I really want to go out and just be in nature. A nice, gentle walk with my dog. Just enjoy some greenery. That's going to make me feel a lot better, to be honest. So, reset. Now it's time to tackle the mess that has built up around me. I have two organizing systems. One is the surface level cleaning and then the deep cleaning. When I do surface level cleaning, I just focus on making what meets the eye presentable, livable, and clean enough for me to function. I usually kick off this process by putting on my favorite playlist, something that brings me a sense of calmness and ease, but also inspires me to move. I start by tackling each section of my place, starting with the dining area, then the living room area, kitchen, and so on. Anything that doesn't belong gets tossed into its designated spot for when I finally get to that area. And of course, I always lug around a trash bag with me because the key on cleaning days is efficiency. Less time, more progress. Once the surface level cleaning is done, I like to move into the next section of my space and as a second option is going for full deep cleaning, wiping down tabletops and all. I usually like to save the vacuuming for the very end, but honestly it just varies and depending on the mood. But um, yeah, I'm already really proud of the progress I've made and you will be too once you start applying the system. It turns cleaning into a more enjoyable and fun experience. You're mindlessly moving through the process because you're repeating the same actions in each area of your home. Organize, remove trash, and wipe down, and then you move on. The kitchen is definitely my least favorite place to clean. I just don't like doing dishes and it's always the most icky because of all the food that gets moved around and used and so... It's, it's definitely efficient for me to use this system of just doing, taking action, organizing, throwing away because I don't have to put much thought into it. Before I know it, I'm done. <laughs> Voila! Yes, this feels amazing. And now I've been wanting to work on this fridge for a while. I'm a grown girl and I don't want magnets all over the front of my fridge anymore. So I'm going to put these on the side where only I can see them. I used to like to collect magnets from different places that I would visit, but we don't do that anymore. Well, that's it. I'm already feeling the internal reset and all I've done is take the very first step of getting back on track. It's amazing how a little cleaning and organizing can make your space feel more clear and homey. I hope this was inspiring. Um, feel free to share your comments below, share your cleaning tips, and let's keep motivating each other. Now it's time for me to go enjoy my day. Thanks for joining me today. I hope to be ready and energized by the next video. I'll see you later.